You know, the truth of the full situation in Nigeria, if you are not concerned, I think you better have a rethink and be part of preferring solutions to this because the NMPC uh, Group Managing Director, Mele Kiari, has been telling us that um, by the end of this year, 2023, uh, one of the refineries, I believe he said that uh, the Port Harcourt refinery will begin operations. But by 2024, the Wari as well as Kaduna refineries will begin operations as well. But um, they have been telling Mr. President Bola Tinubu are uh, things that are not really, that are, you know, at variance with uh, the truth on the ground. Because this is the same Kiari who in 2015 promised that these refineries will be fully operational. They have spent billions of dollars to rehabilitate uh, what you call the um, uh, turnaround maintenance of those places, of those refineries that have not produced one single barrel of uh, crude oil uh, in Nigeria. So this cartel is what Tinubu is trying to break. Uh, is he going to be successful in breaking the cartel? It's uh, another big question to to answer and ponder uh, about over the next couple of months. But this is the reality. The, the president, in as much as he means, uh, comes with good intentions. Good intentions may not necessarily translate into working with a system that is already in place, one that is so fraught with uh, powers that be uh, people who just don't want this this uh, situation, uh, this country to work. As the His Highness, the former Emir of Kano, Senusi Lamidu Senusi, the NNPC must be able to account for every dollar they used in paying subsidy. That must be very critical and they must we must try to insist that that is investigated and uh, and we'll get to the root the root of it you must prepare the minds of nigerians for difficult decisions anybody who tells you that it is going to be easy please don't vote for him because it's either he's lying to you or he does not know what job he's going to get now, Kiari is hinging his hopes on the Dangote refinery that has just launched and uh, has not even started production. And uh, his, he also says that uh, modular, modular refineries will also be in place to uh, ensure that we have surplus of uh, petroleum products by especially petrol fuel uh, by the end of 2023, this year, towards the beginning of 2024. Um, in as much as that is hopeful, uh, we want to see the real facts, having been judged by uh, what has happened in the past, where promises were made and never, you know, met. This is not the first time that Kiari is making such statements, and uh, we're hoping that it will be the last, so that people will stop this perennial suffering in our country today. So let's see if we can uh, all give some kind of support, but understand and read between the lines that uh, with once beaten twice shy, we have seen repeatedly how uh, the Nigerian people have been lied to, been taken for granted, and uh, we cannot continue like this. We must stand for what is right. The ordinary people, the people that are downtrodden, uh, living in such a country with a very high level of poverty. Over 100 million people in this country are poor, and that means living beneath, below $1 at the according to the United Nations estimates. Are we going to allow this to continue? Definitely not. So you see that the subsidy removal is not uh, very tenable uh, because um, the refineries themselves are in a fix. The, that turnaround maintenance has not been done. The subsidy removal is coming at a time when it is uh, dead on arrival and uh, this is very true because uh, it's all there for all to see that the refineries are not working and um, are the promises by the NNPC to uh, tell Nigerians that uh, it will work at some date has missed that actually that deadline of uh, March the March deadline for the refineries to work has passed and um, what assurance do we have as a people to 
rely on anything credible from the NNPC uh, to the fact that their finance will be fixed. Not to be pessimistic, though, but um, we have suffered this for so long. And I'm wondering how the NNPC could come out to say and tell Mr. President such that make him believe that some kind of magic will happen between now and uh, the end of 2023, going into 2024, when even a private, privately owned refinery, Al Hajid Ali Kodangote's refinery, uh, is still going through the process, just launched and going through um, production. We hope that that will commence soon. And that of the federal governments, they should be shamed. They should be ashamed of themselves that uh, over these years, the refineries have not worked. Not because they cannot work, but because the cabals in there just won't let it. We must support Tinubu to ensure that he breaks that cabal.